What's up? Danny High Soccer with Colony helping people do their business better. Today we have a good one. Today I'm going to share with you the similarities and the differences between the brand new Poly Studio R30 and the Poly Studio P15. Stay tuned. All right, so let's just get into it. So we're going to go over the similarities and the differences between the two. Let's start with the Poly Studio P15. And oh, by the way, I'm using the Poly Studio R30 to record the video and the audio for this. The Poly Studio P15 comes in at an MSRP of $449. The video resolution is Ultra HD, 4K, personal conference view and auto framing, polyacoustic fence technology, uh, and microphones. There's three element beam forming uh, microphone array. So it has an integrated privacy shutter, uh, an adjustable monitor clamp. Poly Studio R30 comes in at an MSRP of $799.95 uh, and it's designed for small conference spaces. You get a removable privacy cap. The Poly Studio P15 is built in. The video resolution, uh, Ultra HD, 4K, and 121 degrees H field of view. Automatic meeting experience powered by Poly Director AI, including speaker framing, presenter tracking, and conversation mode. Controlled through PolyLens desktop app, certified for Zoom rooms, and it's Microsoft Teams compatible. So now let's just get into the actual uh, audio and video testing so that you guys can see some of the similarities uh, and differences between these two. Um, so let's just get into that. All right, so now we have the Poly Studio P15 set up. It's up here on my monitor, so I have both of them actually set up. And so right now we have the acoustic fence off. We have noise block AI turned off, so probably hearing all that, right? La 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 la. Right, so you probably hear all that noise. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn noise block AI on. Okay, so now the noise block AI is on, so. But anyway, so there's the noise block AI. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate the noise block AI that's built into the Poly Studio R30 as well as the Poly Studio P15. When you aren't talking, noise block AI is automatically muting your microphone. Uh, to prevent background noise from interrupting your call. And so here we have, again, the noise block uh, for the outgoing audio. So my audio to you is not turned off yet. So I'm just going to make some noise. So I'm clapping my hands. Tapping. Right, so you probably hear that, that tapping. Right, and so now I'm going to enable Poly Noise Block AI. So I hit my little switch to Noise Block uh, AI turned on. And so now... All right, so you probably didn't hear that uh, because the noise block uh, AI is turned on. Uh, but anyway, let's do a acoustic fence test next. Stay tuned. All right, so now let's do a quick acoustic fence test with the Poly Studio P15. So right now it's on off. I'm going to set it to narrow. Now you guys can mess around with the adjustment uh, of that uh, for your, your own space. Uh, I'm doing it to narrow just because I wanted to let's, let's just get this done so you guys can see how well it works because uh, it's a pretty cool uh, technology. All right, so here we go. A horn honking. That guy's recording over there. All right, so now I'm back. And so we'll see uh, how well uh, the acoustic fence worked from the Poly Studio uh, P15. Now we're going to do an acoustic fence test. And so I have set the acoustic fence to narrow. And I have another camera over there recording me to see. So you can see that I am uh, walking away and still talking. So let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. And so I was walking away and talking the whole time. And so hopefully the acoustic fence uh, was able to block that out. Uh, I've been having a heck of a time trying to uh, adjust the camera controls for the Poly Studio R30. Uh, there's something running on my computer that is preventing me from accessing the camera. So I'm just going to show you uh, through the Poly Lens app what's currently available. Uh, but again, I'm not going to be able to show you because for whatever reason, I just can't. Um, so 
in the Poly Studio R30, and I am going to work on this with Poly, and we're going to get this working. So I'll do a whole video to show you uh, the tracking mode, the maximum zoom, the camera movement, the tracking speed, as well as the frame size. Uh, I'll be doing that. Uh, but in the Poly Studio P15 that I have set up as well, uh, I do have access to that. So this guy is working over here. So I wanted to just kind of show you some of the different options that are available uh, for the Poly Studio P P15 versus the R30. So you can see with the uh, Poly Studio P15, you have brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, white balance, backlight compensation, uh, tracking mode. You can adjust that from uh, group to off. Uh, you have the zoom four times, or two times, or three times zoom. You have camera movement. You can do auto pan or cut. Um, and you can change the tracking speed from slow, normal, or fast. And then you also have the frame size from tight, medium, or wide. And so all these settings are available through PolyLens. Uh, so make sure that you download that. We'll include links uh, to that in the description box below. Uh, but anyway, uh, I wanted to do a full on uh, show of the, uh, or demonstration of the Poly Studio R30. But again, I wasn't able to, but I will. Uh, once I get this uh, figured out. In the meantime, if you like this type of video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you'd like to see, and we'll do our best to make it. Thanks.